I'm Helen and today I'm going to talk you through the makeup that I did on my face. Hello, my... No. <laughs> hello. No, I hate the way I say hello. <laughs> I'm Helen and today I'm going to talk you through my makeup plot from when I was performing in Cats. So when I was in the show I played a cat called Tantamile. I was a, a mm, identical twin, I'm not in real life, uh, and my twin was called Corricapat. When we were first in cat school we were given our makeup plots which we had to follow step by step when learning our makeup and doing it at the same time. So it took us about an hour and a half to put the face paint on and about three hours in total of getting ready time, including wig prep, wigs, a lot. start by using our oriental stick to do our base, leaving space for our white muzzle and our white eyes. Once that's done we'd powder to make sure it was set properly so then we could carry on to do our eye markings and our muzzle markings including our whiskers and our nose. We would move on to the markings around our face which we would use black all the way around the edges, uh, a terracotta colour and white and again once that's done we'd powder, There's so much powdering involved to make sure that it sets nicely so when you sweat, which you do, it doesn't move. To complete the makeup look you would paint your neck fully black <laughs> which was fun and then we'd powder everything and just touch up the markings before wig. memories. <laughs> Good times. So putting on the makeup was obviously a long process. Taking it off was much easier. Coconut oil, hands, rub, and it would just melt away. Beautiful. <laughs> I hope you like, subscribe, and everything for Bluefish. Yeah!